Hello Mindful Music Muffins and today I thought it would be a nice idea to show you the mental health apps that I have on my phone so let's get into this straight away this first one is called Mootles um, let's just go through all the different things the first bit is information so that just this is like mainly depression thing you can like get information on what it is and how to recognize it and what to do about it which I think is pretty useful and then the second one here is you can do a test and you can do it multiple times to see if your score changes basically to keep an eye on it which I think is useful the next one is basically what it says you've got some guided meditations and sounds and basically just different things that you can listen to and watch to help you and then the next one I find really useful is a thought diary so as you can see I've used this a couple of times let's just read this I'm letting you in on a deep part of my life here but that's okay so you give an initial distress level you say how you're feeling what it is you're feeling it about and you put some of your thoughts in I don't know why the apostrophes are backwards because I did not do that but anyway and then you identify the problems with your thinking and then you go based on that you challenge it so you reason with it basically which is easy to do when you're not overwhelmed by it and I think that's the point of it you're training yourself um, and I'm quite a rational logical kind of person normally so I try and use that when I do this and then basically you change the thoughts and then put a distress level at the end of that as you can see it works so I find that super useful really useful so I would recommend that then in this next one you have activities that you can choose um, and basically you select one and then you can record your mood before doing it and the mood after doing it so you can see which ones have the best effect and basically just keep a log of that which is great and then this one I think is really important is a safety plan so basically this is what you use for basically when you're in a crisis but you make it when you're not in a crisis because you're thinking more clearly when you're in a crisis you can't think clearly enough to do this so you can put what the warning signs are before you get there how you cope with it and some reasons to live that you can read <laughs> you're on there guys you see and then you can put some emergency contacts in, places for distraction, and the other one I've not used yet. I think that's super cool to have when like, it can save you, basically, which is always good. Um, and then along here you can basically get instructions on how to use it. So that's the first one. Next up we have Social Anxiety Manager, or Sam. Hi Sam. Not you in the background. <laughs> um, so. As you can see, there's lots of different things you can do on here. This one basically just, I don't know, gives you some information, I guess. And then this one can give you some exercises to do if you need to calm down. And this you can use to track your anxiety and it basically gives you, like, you fill that in and then you save it and it puts it on a graph so you can track it, which is useful. Then this one is kind of similar to one of the other ones and it basically gives you some information and some activities that you can do yourself. That's why it's called self-help. Um, here you can record things that make you anxious. I don't know why I use that. So you can avoid them, basically. Well, I guess not all the time because that doesn't help. But anyways. Um, oh wait, that's tracking how it is right now and then oh yeah and then you can look at this to see the graph look at that sideways not helpful um in here you've got activities as well that you can do there's different ones there's ones about breathing ones about thoughts and stuff pretty useful stuff in there and then this you can use to talk to other people that are basically going through the same thing. I'm gonna get off there in case I reveal anything. Next up we have Mood Mint. Now basically what this does is it trains your brain to think more positively. You're given four pictures and you have to pick the happy one, basically. So I'll just quickly show you how this works. So you pick 
the happy face or the healthy food or basically the positive picture of all of them. Uh, smiling, smiling, swimming, smiling. So basically this is how you do it. You just pick the, oh, that was not the right one. Neither was that, oops. And then it gives you a tip, which is cool. Get some sunshine, guys. So then let's keep going. Uh, that one, uh, that one. The more you do this, the easier it gets. And you can put your own pictures in too, which is pretty cool. And then you get this word search thing with happy words in. Oh gosh, it's not doing it, there we go. It's like super easy, but it's fun anyways. So, oh, no. So that's how you do that. It keeps going until you run out of time basically, and then you get this breathing thing. And there you go. That is it, basically. Simple but effective. I also like to use games and stuff to calm down. This one's called Heat Pad. Watch this. I'm basically drawing on the screen, and yeah, oh, this it's so relaxing to me. I don't know why. You can change the colours as well. Um, let's change. So look, you get these different ones. I'm just picking some random ones so you can see them. That's the original one, I think. That's the heat pad one. Um, let's try this. So you get all these different, different ones. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a black hole. I also play games for relaxation too. This is one of my favorites. It's called Make Hector. Um, I could do a whole video of this if you want. But this is a game that I love to play. Fresh. It's a really good stress reliever to me. I don't really know why, but just for some reason it is. Oh my gosh, I spun that around like so many times. Got there eventually. I don't know whether it's like the simplicity of just dragging the pieces onto the screen or I don't know. It's just something very satisfying about this. If you guys know why, tell me. I would love to find that out. But I don't know if it's relaxing to watch or not, but it's, I love playing it. So it's definitely gonna be on my list of recommendations. Not that I have one, but. Triple, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm not gonna play this for ages, I just want to show it to you. Basically. Just want you to see the awesomeness that is this game. You're probably thinking, yes, we've seen it now. You can stop. <laughs> it's addictive, okay? It's such a good game. I love it. I think I'm going to leave that there before I get too into it. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and that some of these apps will be useful to you. Um, if you want to see a full video of this game as well, let me know and I will love to do it. I mean, I've recorded it already, but I'm not going to upload it if you don't want to see it. But let me know, guys. That's what the comments are for. But yeah, that's basically everything I wanted to show you. So thank you for watching, Music Muffins. If you like this video, don't forget to share the like button, some love. And if you want to see more videos, then you know what you need to do. Obey the cushion. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.